Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data, and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure event-based goals in Google Analytics. Event-based goals allow you to track a conversion when people complete certain actions on your website. For example, if you're tracking a YouTube video that's embedded on your website, then you can configure an event-based goal to count a conversion when someone finishes watching the video. There are three different types of goals you can configure in Google Analytics. The most popular type of goal is a destination or page-based goal. This is where people navigate to a certain page on your website. Then there are event-based goals, which you'll learn about in this video. And finally, there are engagement-based goals that allow you to count a conversion after people spend a certain amount of time or view a certain number of pages on your website. So now it's time to head to Google Analytics and configure our event-based goal. Let's get started. To configure goals, we need to have edit permission inside Google Analytics. We also need to ensure that we're already seeing the event we want to use for our goal inside our reports. So let's select Behavior, then Events, and Top Events. Here we can see the different events we're tracking into Google Analytics. If you're not familiar with events, they are sent to Google Analytics when the action takes place. I recommend using Google Tag Manager to configure event tracking. You can find links to my tutorials in the description below this video. So if you're not currently tracking events, then I recommend watching my tutorials first. We're looking at the events being tracked into the Google Analytics demo account. We can see there is an event for the category Contact Us. So I'm going to use this event category to configure an event-based goal. Event tracking is flexible, so you can send an event category as well as an event action, an event label, and even an event value to Google Analytics. You can make use of one or more of these in the way you configure your goal inside Google Analytics. I'm just going to use the event category. So now that I've made a note of the event category, I'm going to navigate to Admin. Now we need to select Goals and I can create a new goal. I name the goal and select event as the goal type. Now I can see the different conditions I can use to count conversions in my reports. I'm going to enter the event category that I found in the report. If you also entered an event action and label, all of the conditions would need to be true in order for your goal to count a conversion. The goal will automatically use the event value as the dollar value for the goal. So if a value is sent with the event, this will also be used for the value of our goal. I'm going to leave this set to yes, but you can disable it if you like. Then I can save the goal. Moving forward, we'll now be reporting a conversion every time an event is tracked with the category of contact us. That's it. So that's how you can configure event-based goals in Google Analytics. Remember that you'll need to ensure that the event you want to use as a conversion is already tracked into Google Analytics before you configure the goal. Once your goal has been configured, you'll begin to see data in the conversions reports. I recommend assigning either a dynamic or static dollar value to your event-based goals. To learn more about assigning dollar values to goals, you can find links in the description below this video. If you want to learn more about Google Analytics, including the most important essentials for interpreting your reports, then check out my free Analytics Essentials course. You can find a link to the course in the description below this video. In the course, you'll learn how to navigate your reports, understand important terminology, how to measure conversions, and much more. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the course. Have you configured an event-based goal in Google Analytics? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this one. See you next time.